Welcome to the Smart Home Exhibit at Chicago's Museum of Science and Industry. This 2,500 square foot prefab home features the latest innovations in reusable resources and clean technology. It's been called Chicago's greenest home. Your tour begins now. Uh, this home was designed by Michelle Kaufman, who's an architect out of Oakland, California. And she is the leader in, re in green residential design and also modular design. So this is a modular home. This was not built on site. It was built in a factory in Decatur, Indiana, and was shipped to the museum in seven modules. It took about eight weeks to build at the factory, and then it came here, and the seven modules were assembled in one day. Several things make the home a smart home. First of all, the way it's designed. And the home was originally designed to fit on a standard city lot. The home is 2,500 square feet, but it feels much bigger because of the windows in the home, it lets, it let the light in, and also because the way that the house is stacked. There's an open floor plan on the first floor and then up through the second and third floor of the home. But also in the house, there's six stacks. There's six outdoor spaces in the home, which also make it feel much bigger than it is. So because the house space is east, and you might be at the dining room table having breakfast, you want the fresh air, but you might not want all the sunlight. So the architect grew up on a farm in Iowa and loves the idea of barn doors. So she has this screen, has developed a screen that you can actually close it off and let the air in and just a little bit of the light. It's also smart because we can monitor our energy use in real time. So we know how much energy we're producing with our solar on the roof and also how much we're consuming. We can do that with our energy use and also with our water usage as well. So this is the water catchment system, and there's three barrels here. And um, each um, barrel can hold up about, can contain about 300 gallons of water. And you've heard about saving for a rainy day. We're actually saving for a sunny day. So the water from the roof will come into these um, containers, and we can use that to irrigate our garden. This is the green roof system. It's um, a tray system. It's a modular tray system. And this protects the lifespan of the roof and also helps keep the house warm in winter and cool in summer. And it never has to be watered. The native, um, the wild onion and succulents. In low technology, we have this wonderful system in one of the bathrooms. It's called Aqua System. And it's a filter underneath your bathroom sink that uses the water that you use, the gray water from brushing your teeth and shaving. And that's actually filtered and that is then used to flush your toilet. So there's low-tech and high-tech ideas throughout the home. Not everything in the house is new. A lot of the things were picked up from resale shops. And it's not only buying from resale shops, it's also donating to those shops. So there's a whole cycle that you can participate in. It is all recycled glass, but specifically, this is from recycled Chardonnay bottles. And they are concrete, but also recycled porcelain. So there's pieces of bathtubs, toilets, and sinks in them. Um, this fireplace is from EcoSmart, and it actually burns ethanol. Okay, so all the heat stays in the house. It doesn't escape through the chimney. And if, if you can feel it, I mean, there's a lot of heat that it's producing. But the wonderful thing is that it's not connected to the floor, so it's portable. This is actually a home of today. Everything in this home is available right now in the marketplace. It, and it doesn't matter if you live in an apartment, if you're building a house, or if you're buying a house or renovating a house. There are ideas throughout the home for every budget. 